Good morning, oil traders. It is September 13th. It is 9.010 a.m. here on the East Coast of North America, and we're about 20 minutes away from the market open. And I forgot about API news last night. <laughs> um, not that we really moved um, on the news itself. Of course, we've moved since. Um, but speaking of the API news, it was bearish. Um, it uh, suggests a build of about six billion uh, barrels gasoline and a significant draw in, uh, excuse me in crude and a significant draw in gasoline um, whereas EIA projections are uh, half of that so if uh, it actually turns out to be a build uh, similar to what API is uh, calling for then it, to me it sounds bearish of course we're going up so who knows um, and of course we're going up right after I sold my long um, for basically break even. So that always stings a little bit, but uh, we are above the target that I had established for buying another short position. Um, I was aiming for about 48 and a half um, to purchase a short, and uh, we seem to be quite comfortable at 48.70 this morning um, with a few minutes to go. So uh, if we do open at uh, 4870 or better I think I'm just going to purchase short there and uh, yeah I, I mean I'm I'm basically aiming for uh, I'm, I'm basically bearish and uh, expecting a drop on the news today um, at 1030 with EIA so if I'm wrong I'm just gonna be a little bit more wrong than I would be otherwise but if I'm right um, it's gonna pay to get in ahead of news um, it does suck to be out of my long hedge. Um, so if we do spike up, of course I'm missing out on that substantially and we'll be taking a, that much more of a substantial loss today. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's part of the game. I do have uh, a fair bit of capital remaining to play. So that's the whole idea with, uh, with my approach and uh, it'll be what it'll be. Uh, that's my puppy agreeing with me, I'm sure. Um, if we do manage to drop somehow um, ahead of news, um, hopefully after I purchase my short, um, then I'll be looking to rebuy the, uh, it says rebuy long, but rebuy um, the long position that I sold yesterday. Um, but I would look for at least 48, if not lower, before I would do that. Um, certainly it doesn't look like that's going to happen right now, um, but uh, time will tell. Uh, we've got uh, about 18 minutes, 17 minutes now until the open, and uh, an hour after that, we're going to get our news outcome from EIA. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca, where you can find more information on portfolio, trades, results, etc. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards end of trading today at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.